Hey guys, as I just smacked myself in the face, I'm Rod the Fox and welcome back to For the Depths. And I have some more builds here to show up to you guys that's made by Apex. And guys, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute complete friggin' idiot. And I'll show you guys just what I mean here shortly. Okay, cool. you guys see all the ones here with RTF on them. Uh, at the beginning. I didn't quite realize it at first. But RTF is my name abbreviated. <laughs> it is. Yeah, like, I didn't quite realize it at first. But then I, then I, like, uh, not long after me, like, my... Not long after I closed this game, it's like RTF. It's like, wait a minute, that's when they abbreviate it, and I felt so freaking stupid. <laughs> but these uh, three yeah. builds here yeah. this one here, this one here, and this one here I'm going to be showing off to you guys today. And there's another build that. Um, um, oh my god. That uh, Apex is doing. But he's not quite done yet because it's gonna be a big one, and so I'll probably show that off once it's done. This is a really cool one. Oh my gosh, just look! I actually go to it so I can show you guys this because he showed me a picture of this. I mean, just look at this. I mean, this thing is. This is a really, really cool boat. I believe it has. Yep, simple weapons onto it. Couple of octuple 40 millimeters. It has uh, dual lasers on it. Oh, it has uh, three uh, weapons on it because when I seen it, all I seen was uh, this. What the? Oh, it even has uh, wings onto it. So, wait a minute. So it drank some Red Bull? Is this thing a, uh, a, a hydrofoil ship? That's what it is. This is, like, uh, that's the kind of vibes I'm getting from this ship right now. And if that's the case, that's really cool. Okay, let's actually test it out here. So, Control doors. So go put my theory to the test here. Moving out. Okay, let's see. Uh, wait, what's the speed on this? Moving out. <laughs> it is to say, I wasn't expecting for it to do that. That's awesome. Okay, I gotta test this. I gotta check the speed on this thing because. 30, 30, okay, so it looks like it maxes out at, what, 32? Hang on, let me... Moving out. Wait, I'll do, Moving I'll out. do one more last one, see. Uh, yeah, between, uh, between 30 and 32 is the top speed, which... Given, like, this bow's design... It's actually really, it's actually, is really good. Yeah, I do honestly like the whole color scheme with this. And if it says me correctly, um, Apex, uh, where, before, uh, when he said this to me, uh, he said, uh, that, hold on. Okay, I just went back and I checked to see what Apex said. And he said that this is made for me to use. This is specifically made for me to use and to like reverse engineer. That's literally what he said. So I might take some inspiration from this because this is a really cool boat within of itself. Oh. Okay. I just. Oh. I hope I can do that. I just thought of a really, really cool idea. I hope it works. I hope it works. I can't spoil it, but if it works, the, what I have planned for this, or at least a design based off of this, 
damn, that thing moves quick. It literally goes like 0 to 20 in like meters a second and like instantly. Let's go backwards. Okay, this is a quite interesting little boat if I must be honest. Okay, here's the uh, next one here. I'm not quite sure what... What is this? Whoops. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? <laughs> yeah, watch this. What the? Whoops. Oh, it's an aircraft. That's cool, though. So what does it have? Okay, so it has... Oh, get me out of building for freak's sake. Okay. Oh, that's... Damn. Wow, I really need to use more of these screens. Like, holy crap. Did you say screens or screams? Screams. Uh, what is this? Dude, I was going to scream. But... Whoa. Ah, uh, wow. That's the full... I don't want to break is the audio. That's not a screen that broke the audio. That looks like the 8 meter recoiler, Zobers. Okay. Oh so, oh, so I'm in here. Yep, because that's the screen projector right there. Okay, I'm curious. See what type of um, setup this thing has. Wait, what? <laughs> Oops. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, so it's using. I always forget about that shit. Okay, so those bullets are different. What are these? Okay. Emma Wintex, here we go. Uh, so it's using HE, 2HE, 2 solid with a base bleeder. That's interesting. So it has HE damage, but as well as solid, so this thing is going to hit really hard as well as explode. That's cool. Wait a minute. Hold on. God damn it. No. Give me. Come on. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, we're in the AP head. Wow. I never. I don't think I've ever seen that type of setup before. And this one here. Yep. Yep. I kind of, I, I kind of figured this is what, uh, uh, I kind of figured that's what this uh, was. Yeah, like, whoops. Like I mentioned in the uh, previous uh, episode, I do like this setup, as you guys see with the um, current uh, ship that I'm making, which I will show you, guys, which I will work on in this episode, guys. Don't worry. We're trying to show off the last one, which I believe is like this, but it's different weaponry. Whoa, okay, wow. Okay, so the barrels are literally twice the length. What else is in here? Okay, same shells. Same engine setup. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I will be using these PIDs because... They do seem to work quite well in terms of like keeping the ship level and stuff. Because you guys seen the uh, last ship, the um, the one that um, that was um, a. Uh, is that a, the one you couldn't get to fly, or is that another game? Uh, that's uh, same game, different ship. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was in this or some other game. But yeah, um, the uh, Splinter, the one that. Um, it was originally uh, my ship that uh, Apex recreated. That one, as you guys see, that one flies ridiculously st stable. So I might use uh, AI PIDs from now on. I'm I'm not sure. They do seem to be pretty effective. Okay, now this, uh, I think. Wait, this is the. Uh, uh, this is a new ship I've been working on, which is currently is doing a friggin' front flip. What the? 
<laughs> I barely have anything set up in this. What the hell is it doing? <laughs> oh my god! I just get terrorists. You're just doing backflips. Or say backwards loops. It's not like really out doing a backflip. This is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I fish hit the water, but that's funny. I would not want to be on that thing. Holy crap. Okay, 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 calm down. But yeah, this is a new craft I'm working on, and, and I'll show you guys here. Oh, let's see, fix this. Uh, turn around. Here we go. So now this one is connected up to this. Now, this one here is not connected up to this uh, shaft, or this, um, this wheel, because they're both spinning in different directions. And if I were to spin it around like I had it before, this one wouldn't be turning. And... As you guys see, like, this is really similar to um, Apex's uh, type of steam engine here, because I do like, I do quite like it, and it's currently running at 0.5, and you guys see, we got 951 for, like, uh, uh, standard uh, engine power, and we got uh, 1311 for electrical power, which is... Which is pretty good, if I must be honest. That sounds good. It sounds like a lot. I mean, it's good uh, for, like, the size of craft this is, because, I mean, this isn't very big. I mean, I literally have an aircraft. I think it's one of my old ones, you guys might remember, from, uh, like, uh, I, the missile fleet that I have. As you guys, some of you guys might remember. But one of the aircrafts, I believe, which one is it? Is it... It's one of the Skyhaler, I believe it's the Skyhaler ships. I don't think it's just one of them. I believe a like, few of them do it. But I believe oh, that one, those, at least one of them has like, well, like 30,000 engine power to it. <laughs> and that's just to get the damn thing to fly! Shit, come on, move, 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 move! So, yeah... Shit, shit, shit! Like, Sorry. those things... Things are not going well. Those things were just basically made to be... Well, they were essentially to be powerhouses, like... Not really consi it, like, consider on... Uh, like ammo amounts or like resource amounts because like, this was before the um What the hell what just happened with my mic? That was weird Wait, that was before um, this music is oddly appropriate for how tense this is getting the um What was it? Uh, the Centralized yeah, the centralized resources got removed. So it was just basically I just start off with something simple, something small, which uh, which is where the missile copter came in, and I made the missile drone a letter date. But yeah, like from I believe the missile copter all the way up to the Sky Halo Fortress, all of those were the um, the original ships that I made, like the um, uh, the. Uh, Mr. Cruiser, the the Hellfire Cruiser, uh, Sky Hill Fortress, and I believe another one. I they were made before, like the um, the uh, missile. Uh, the they were made before, like the different size missiles <laughs> were put into the game. So they're they're a bit old. And yeah. Like, um, like I said, it was made, they were essentially they were made a while ago. And they were, they didn't really have, like, as much of a, a resource management in mind. They would just hit things till they die. And that's why I made them bigger, I made them stronger, I made them more, like, powerful. Well, not really so much of focusing on resources, which... Especially after the um, localized resources removed, or, or say the centralized resources removed, it's really made me be a little bit more uh, resource considerate. <laughs> I still don't. I still do not know why they removed that. Why? 
I did. I. Uh, uh, it's not the worst I've heard, though. I actually watched a video earlier this week about someone. About, like, an update completely changing the genre of the game. So trust me, you're fine. What? Compared to that shit. <laughs> okay, that doesn't make any sense. Why the hell would they do that? <laughs> I'll explain. So. When I, when I start saying you're gonna go, of course. So there's a JoJo game, of yep. course, because it's me. Yeah. It, it was a mobile game. I forget the name of it, but basically it was kind of like a 3D, like, brawler, like a, like a fighting game. Yeah. For mobile, and people liked it. They turned it, they took all, but they took all the real time, like, mover, movement aspects and turned it into a turn based game and completely gutted the game. And uh, made pretty much made anything that players had uh, earned or used previously pretty much useless. Needless to say, that game lost all of its fucking users and died not long after. Yeah, you don't do that. I mean, if a don't game is change the entire game like that, you don't Ooh. do. You Ooh. don't change uh, the whole where? genre of your fucking game. Um. Like these, and make everyone's gear that they grinded like hell and spent money on useless. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, that, that is does... the worst I've heard. That is the worst I've heard. D yeah, like... That literally does not make any sense whatsoever. Why the hell would they do that? That looks cool. I guess they wanted. I don't know. There's some something to do with like getting more money or like maybe spending less money on it or some shit. Bottom line, it was probably because of money, but they ended up like losing all their money on it, though, and shutting the game down. Yeah, which is Be pretty stupid. I forget what it was though, because there's a bunch of JoJo mobile games in Japan, but I know it was it was like a 3D like brawler type thing, and then they fucking turned it into a shitty turn-based thing. Yeah, you and don't do like, that. If it completely like made everyone's stuff that they grinded for pretty much useless. So like As the old saying goes, if it ain't broken, don't friggin' fix it. People liked the game before they changed it too. That's the thing. Ex heard, exactly. Like, people were saying it was a decent game before it got fucking gutted. Exactly. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like I said, I saw this in a video the other day and I forget who it was and I forget the name of the game because I'm a fucking idiot. But it kind of blew my mind. I was like, how do you just decide when your game is doing well, just decide all of a sudden to just nuke to it? Completely change how it is. <coughs> Excuse me. To completely just change the type of fucking game it is. Yeah, and, and to just... nuke uh, everybody's progress. Well, the progress was still there. It's just that with the new system. It, they might as well have nuked it because it was pretty much useless with all what the new the... stuff they like changed. Oh, it's this, okay. Because it wasn't even the same kind of fucking game anymore. Uh, I might actually use these ducks. These ducks are really I'm cool. guessing they wanted to save costs on like the animation or some shit, but like Damn even it. then, I can't really wrap my hand around why you would do that. Uh, I think I'll do it like this. I think this is. I think that Almost looks like cooler. I can't wrap my head around why Nintendo would fucking time really time limited a game that everyone wants. I'm still salty about that Mario uh, collection. I'm still salty about that. That looks cool. I like that. Because okay. it's a uh, yeah. You know that thing's already selling art out and becoming hard as fuck to find. Wow. Like the physical copies of it are already super rare. Uh... This is going to be another Kirby collection. This is going to be another Metro Prime trilogy where Nintendo didn't put it out long enough or enough and it ever, you're never going to be able to find a good price for it online. Okay, you're never this... going to find a good price for this thing. Everyone's going to scalp the fuck out of it. Come on. I was watching a video brought up a good point. Damn they it. did this before. There's the same kind of deal happened with that uh, Kirby collection and Metro Prime trilogy and look on fucking eBay at the prices of that shit. You can't find those games for good prices anymore. Because Nintendo doesn't learn from their mistakes. <sighs> oh, okay. Damn it. Just why I think Nintendo's getting better, they do something stupid like this. 
Yeah, Sega does when Nintendo don't. That's true. It's an old ass phrase, but I still kind of stick by it. Well, yeah, because like Sega embrace. I will say one thing: Mania is a good example of that because yep. Sega sees fan game. They hire the people to make an official one. Nintendo yep. sees it. They take it down. Earth. Yep. Scorched earth. Yeah, they just completely just nuked the hell out of it. Nuke butt. Yep. Nuke butt. Done. I hate that. Fucking even Capcom, as shitty as they are, fucking ha took a fan game and made it into an official game. At least they support it. Damn it. Nintendo just wholesale deletes that shit. Damn it. And it's like. So where am I going with this? Why? Okay. Like, if anything, this, the fan games will just make people want to play the real thing more. And right? like, if no one is like making a game for money, then like, why? Exactly. If they're just doing it for the love of the project and the love of the series, then why even target them? That's why I don't get about Nintendo and taking down like ROM hacks and shit. Uh, and taking down like fan games. It's okay. Like, this is the one. It's not hurting you. They're not there making we go. money. They're not trying to replace you. They like the thing they make, so they're making their own version. They're not okay, saying need... don't buy the real thing. They're just saying, hey, we like thing. Here is our own version of thing. It's it's stupid. I don't. Damn it. I don't get it. I'll never understand Nintendo. I love like them what? to death. But God damn. Oh, like this then. Wait, what? Did they just do that automatically? What the hell? Okay. Because I apparently did. Okay. Never mind that then. Okay. Stick this in here. There we go. No, god damn it. Yeah, I need to put this up in here before. Uh... Okay. This. There we go. Okay, as you guys see, now I'm putting in um, the medium missiles. Because this is the first of the, uh, uh, well, first of the, uh... So you're putting in basically the fire missiles. In Twisted Metal terms. Because I always consider those the medium yeah. missiles of that game. Because they're in between the power and the home. Now, how big are these? These are... Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so these are ten section. Uh, should I make these bigger? Mm. Because like I do want to leave this, I do want to leave this duct here, or at least like behind the thruster, because not only does it look cool, but it also, but it also provides a better armor without interfering with the, um, with the thruster's power. Uh, hold on, guys, give me a moment. All right, guys, as you can see, like I've. Well, I extended the back section here because I gotta make the missiles a bit longer. But, hmm, what do you guys think of this design? The uh, top one here. Because like I was like, studying it out, and it's like this looks rather interesting. It almost looks like um, evidently it almost looks like a torpedo. Which, well, consider- For a minute I thought you were going to say it almost looks like a Dorito. I don't know why I thought this, but... God damn it, now... You know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what? Maybe I should make a friggin' flying Dorito. <laughs> why? Okay, this I'm is- actually This is what I got done here. Guys, like, um, like this is like this is what I wanted. You guys see the um the number of uh, parts, the um it's in this uh missile setup. This is the kind of miss the type of setup I like, because like it gives me like a lot of, like a fair amount of customization without it being too expensive or too big. Because let's see. Ammo cost 320, and how much ammo does this thing have? 2,000. So, and I mean, 
320, that's 640. What, a 12, like 1280 in here? And just, as I said, this thing can hold 12,000. So 1280 is not bad, considering. I mean, this thing can hold, what, 10, uh, this thing can fire 10, like, but like 9 or 10 volleys of missiles, which, yeah. There's a lot of volleys. That'd be about, what, 30, 38 to, more uh, around 38 to 39 missiles, which, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of missiles. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's not bad. And I think I would stick with this design because I do kind of like it. Because, I mean, this looks like fins here in the back. Uh, this is the main body of it right here. It looks like missiles or uh, torpedoes, which I do, uh, which I do honestly like the design of. And this section here, uh, yes, I know this is exposed, but the thing is, like if, like with this is literally just one layer of uh, lightweight alloy, which I might actually put a, a layer of wood onto it. Now that I think about it, if this gets shot, I mean, really, it's not really that big of a deal. Currently, yeah, I might actually, uh, I think I actually will, uh, uh, put a, uh, layer of, uh, wood in the inside of it. It just seems like a really good idea now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know why I didn't think about it earlier. Maybe, maybe because I'm a friggin' idiot. It would honestly be a good friggin' explanation, if I must be honest. Alright, guys, I, I get, get your point. I got a lot, and I mean a lot of work done here, and you guys see what I got done with the, uh, with the missile pods here. I do like the design of these, because this is something I never tried before. I, I, I'm going to have to leave the episode here, because it's getting late for me now. And yeah. I'll probably do more work off camera, because I still have the... Uh, basically, uh, this is pretty much done. All I have to do now is just put in the AI system, and that's pretty much it. 30 bucks? Sorry, I just looked at Mega Man 11. It what I expected to be like 15. It's 30 fucking dollars. Wow. Like that game looks decent, but like 30 dollars though. It looks like 15 to 20. What? Uh, uh, wait for a sale. Yeah, that's like me and Doom. Yeah. So anyway guys, uh, so raise the like button from the depths if you guys enjoyed, subscribe and ring a bell if you guys want to see more stuff like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Later guys! Yeah, these missile pods that got made are rather interesting design, they almost look like bombs, or like missiles almost, which is kind of, which is kind of fitting yet well, ironic. Well, they're missile pods, they should be missiles. Yeah, it's kind of funny.